biggest industrial dispute in the rail industry in nearly 100 years. If we don't make a stand today, people's lives could be lost. Some of the lowest paid workers are on strike today in the rail industry, safety critical workers, workers that make sure our railways get people to work and do so safely. It can't be accepted anymore that people just have to accept that inflation is out of control, the government's doing nothing on the cost of living crisis. And I tell you what's shameful, I believe strongly if we had a Labour government right now, this dispute wouldn't be happening because we would actually be around the table. And I tell you what, when Grant Shapps and Liz Truss come on the telly and say to you that it's someone else's fault, that it's the striking rail workers' fault that this dispute is happening, what a load of nonsense. The Trade Union Congress had a legal opinion just a few weeks ago that showed definitively that it is the government who are are agitating for this dispute and it needs to be resolved it needs to be resolved fairly and justly and quickly for the sake of the traveling public can we just uh, play to you what Sakir Starmer your party leader said to us yesterday morning on this program the Labour Party in opposition needs to be the Labour Party in power uh, and a government doesn't go on picket lines a government tries to resolve disputes so the leader of the Labour Party says you shouldn't be on a picket line and you are on a picket line. Presumably he has to sack you by lunchtime. I've no idea what Keir will decide to do, but I know this, that if Keir is in government right now, this dispute wouldn't be happening. We would be round the table making sure the RMT and TSA get a fair deal and making sure that happens as soon as possible. I have absolutely 100% confidence that any Labour Party MP will be in support of striking workers, people are giving up a day's pay, a week's pay, or even longer. And by the way, this isn't just rail workers. We've now got the BMA talking about going on strike. We've got the communication workers, postal workers, people in BT. Industrial disputes are happening right across this country because the cost of living crisis is totally out of control. After 10 years of austerity, followed by people's wages in real terms not having risen in nearly a decade, any Labour leader will clearly be on the side of ordinary people, no matter what difficult decisions they have to take to make sure that they get the deal and the pay that they deserve.